Hey guys, Andrew McFarland here from StarterJuiceBar.com. Today we are talking about what do you do about friends and family who might be expecting that you're going to give them a free product just because now you're a new juice bar owner and they want to get hooked up. This is something that really I was inspired to talk about because I was speaking at JuiceCon last year and this question in a multitude of ways actually came up. And so I wanted to make a video to address it and hopefully give you guys some clarity and some perspective and also let you know what I would do if I were in your situation. But before I do, if you guys are new to the channel and you don't know who I am, you don't know what we do for over the last 10 years, myself and our company has had the pleasure of supporting people like you launch and scale their juice bar, smoothie bar businesses, acai bowl concepts and health-based uh, food service concepts all around the world. And so all the information you're getting here on this channel is coming from practical and tangible experience. Before we dive into today's topic of conversation, now is an invitation to press the like button. If you haven't pressed it, now's the time to do it. This is gonna expose the content to more people so we can empower other people like yourself to make the world a healthier place. So diving in, oftentimes what I see is people who start their businesses have people around them who they know in their community that think, hey, my good friend so-and-so just started a juice bar. We're gonna go in there and we're gonna get the hookup. So don't worry, I'm gonna take care of all of you. We're gonna, and a part of it comes from them wanting to feel special, not so much always that they wanna save money. But when this comes up, I often uh, address this question by asking another question. You as a new business owner, you know the challenges and the struggles uh, that come up on many levels, especially financially. Now, why is it that people around you who are meant to love you and support you are expecting you to support them as opposed to them supporting you, right? Because it's really the same thing. They could come in as equally and contribute even more for your product as opposed to expecting that they're going to pay less. So this is hopefully the first thing that should kind of, you should be aware of to think, why is the dynamic this way where I'm the person who's supposed to be going out of my way and I might be in a situation where I'm losing money and I can't afford it. Now that being said, everybody's going to be in a different financial situation in the beginning of their business and moving forward. So what I would do if I were you and what I've done is always assess where I am financially in the business. And as I, my business has more resources, I'm capable of being more generous because it's sustainable and I like to support people more. And even to the point where, you know, we've had campaigns in our business where we've given drinks to homeless people in the neighborhood, so on and so forth. And that is a byproduct of having a business model that's financially sustainable. Because what you don't want is to be in a situation where you're giving away so much free products because you don't know how to say no and you don't know how to be honest with the people around you as to your actual circumstance that you end up compromising your situation, becoming resentful, maybe even going out of business and now you're not supporting anybody. You're not supporting your community, you're not supporting your staff, you're not supporting your family or friends and it's really a bigger picture uh, understanding of the impact of all the things that you're doing. So that being said, be clear with the people around you and let them know what you're capable of. One thing you might do is for us with our staff and our juice bars, historically what we had done is offer a 50% discount on all of the products so that we're not really making money on them. We're also not losing money. And that's sort of the way that we approach that. You might extend that to your family. You might extend that to your friends, depending on the relationship and the dynamic. You know, if your mom walks in, you know, you might take care of your mom and your, your brothers and sisters. But then if you have extended friends and extended family, you can decide how you're going to approach that and what you're capable of doing. But a lot of times, if you build the habit of having your friends walk in with their friends and you think, hey, I'm just going to give everyone free drinks because I want to be the cool business owner, but I can't actually afford to do it, you might find that you're going to build resentment uh, and that it's not sustainable. So, like I said in the beginning, ask yourself, you know, if the dynamic doesn't feel mutual, why is it that the people in your community or your friends and some family members would expect that you're going to make a gesture towards them and they're going to be mad at you if you don't, as opposed to them making a gesture towards you to support you more than, uh, than you would uh, be expecting. Everyone's resource is different. Everyone's uh, situation is different. So that's a complex thing to, to look at. But overall, uh, if I was to give you anything, be clear, be straightforward, understand your situation, and don't 
find yourself becoming resentful because you're just fulfilling other people's expectations because this is something that's going to come up a lot for you as a human being in life and as a business owner especially and that you're doing something that's really incorporating and considering the bigger vision because there's more people to support and to help than simply you know your friend that you know from basketball who want to bring, wants to bring a car full of their friends because they want a free smoothie after they've worked out you know if you're someone who has a lot of friends, that's going to become unsustainable at some point. So uh, that's the message for today. If you guys haven't pressed the like button yet, now's an opportunity to do that. Press the like button. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel, definitely want to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're alerted anytime we release new content. If you have any questions or comments about this or other things that you're just curious about uh, that we haven't made video content on, put that in the comments below. Or if you just want to tell me you like the video, happy to hear that too. That goes in the comment box below. And then last few announcements. If you guys aren't following us on Instagram, you want to do that at Starter Juice Bar. There we have a podcast, The Juice Bar Experts on iTunes and on Spotify. And then lastly, we have a full spectrum eight development agency. So we can help you with everything from raising money for your business to launching and training your staff and everything in between. So email me at andrew at starterjuicebar.com and I'd be happy to discuss how we can help you with all of that. So until next time, hope you guys are doing well, wishing you a lot of success and I'll see you guys soon. I hope you guys have been enjoying all of the content. If you're in a place where you are really inspired to start your juice business, but you're not exactly sure what the next steps are, for you, we've created a free ebook, The 15 Steps to Starting Your Juice Business from Scratch. This is gonna give you an overview of everything that you need to do from just having a concept all the way to launching your business. Beyond that, if you're inspired to go even deeper, we've created an online course, the Juice Bar Master Blueprint that is going to go into great detail into every single area of launching a successful juice business. There's links for both of these in the description below. I know you'll find a lot of value out of them. As always, wishing you guys a lot of success and I'll see you at the next video.